it was outstanding. It was something I, I will obviously never forget, something I've never seen before. It, you know, I still have to smile thinking about it. I mean, you know, 5,000 to 1, it makes us very proud. This is something that will always be in the history books and is the biggest achievement, sporting achievement. It showed, first of all, a great team spirit. Without the team spirit, it would have not been possible. I think a lot of clubs talk about, like, yeah, this is a family, but Leicester is very different. Being a from family, it's really like I'm going to a second family, basically. Talking about the year after we won the Premier League, Everybody was like, okay, that's a fluke. There are always people that don't want to wish you well, and those are very loud the second they see, okay, something is not working as good as it was last year. And look, our expectations, even in the, the season when we, when we won the Premier League, it was not winning the Premier League. It was just trying to get out of it as much as possible. Um, okay, we ended up winning the Premier League, which is great. But there was a lot of criticism the year after, which kind of affected us a little bit in such a way that we had to battle relegation. I've seen a lot of things in the, from the media side, was it good, was it negative, but at the end, they, don't, they have no clue what's happening inside the club, what's happening behind locked doors. As fit as we are and as much as we play, but the body can only take so much, right? And with all those personal things that everybody has a family, I have three children, so you also worry about the children, you also want to help support them, and if, if my child is sick, then I'm worried. And it should not affect my job, but it, it can affect my job. You know, I came to Leicester and I promised my wife, and thank God she is very forgiving, uh, that this would be my last contract and I'm coming home. So I signed for three years. But this is now my second extension that year. First of all, the setup is that I'm living in London permanently and they are living in New York. So there's a whole ocean between us, which doesn't make things easy. And we are, we're dealing with that now for seven, eight years already. Um, I think you kind of get used to it at some point, but I don't want to get used to it because I'm a, I'm a family father and I just want to spend as much time as possible with my children. Somehow it wasn't me to take care of life after my career. I had a business mind, always had a business mind. And I, I always said like, okay, I'm looking for this one thing that I, I want to do, right, besides the football. So the first one was uh, the Fox Soccer Academy that we have, which was in 2014 it is now. We started with one summer camp in, in Manhattan. Meanwhile, it's in three countries. It's in Austria, in England, and over here. Then we had our fashion range, No Fox Given. It's a street fashion label. It's a lot of fun. Uh, there's another thing to know for Skimming, which was then the eSports division. And then we are here, right, at Hudson Sports Complex, which is the latest but probably the biggest endeavor that we took over. <laughs> it's a former jail a correctional facility, uh, which was closed down in 2011. So just recently it was then converted to a sports complex and we took it over. And now it's Hudson Sports Complex and big learning process through all the projects that we had, but very happy to make them. All these projects came about in the last five years. And they're great, they're, they're growing. But I feel like there's so much more to, to everything, especially to what we have here. You never know where it could go. I mean, we're sitting here now in a 36 acre facility, which has a lot of potential. There's still room to improve and hey, I'm still playing football and all this is my future career that's still ahead of me. So still time to go.